Sifu mungi saya mubalun sifu malang yang ma. Oleh cemini yang lewa macam fakta si beli, cakap sifu walau sa. Mua, eh, we longa follow na tulai mai John oleh umalun si ale Panthers oleh fuisha fail on the saw. Ile terusan anda siap bayar tu dari pulau lang. Ya, i divide tau fu ina fakta solo ina macam macam malun sifu apa Spencer? Oh, how sure samu? Yeah, no good. Spencer, before we dive into the interview, can you tell us a bit about your background? I believe you're a Mangri boy. Yeah, I was born here. I'm a Mangri 275 represent. <laughs> and then I moved over to Australia when I was about eight or nine. Wow. So 2008 or nine. And then, yeah, sort of just progressed my career from there. Did you always want to become a, a rugby league player? Yeah, I, yeah, from young I was always, you know, a rugby league head. Um, my dad used to play rugby league. Not like anything high or anything like that, but mm. I guess um, you know a lot of his aspirations. He put it on me and you know trained me really hard, and yeah, I think I got all my aspirations from him. Is it a Sam Warne thing that fathers really try to train their sons to become better at rugby league or rugby or any type of sport? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I, I can't speak on all Sam Warns, but um, I know for sure that my dad. You know, drilled me um, hard. You know, trying to make it to the, to, you know, to the big stage and on the big TV, and um, he trained me really hard. And you know, a lot of my success is a credit to him. Um, you know, without all those little sacrifices that he made, him and my mum made, and um, you know, taking me to trainings, taking me to games, you know, doing those extras with me, and you know, I wouldn't be here without him and my mum. And yeah, a lot of a lot of credit goes to them. Mm. Well, uh, congratulations, three P. For the Panthers, how does how does that feel? What what does it feel like to, to to win three in a row? Yeah, it was sort of unbelievable, especially after that last grand final that we went through. Um, obviously, being down, I don't know how many points we were down, but it was you know a pretty big margin, and for us to come back and um, win that game was yeah, yeah. I still can't really believe it now. Uh, maybe after the, the camp, I'll you know reflect upon it and you know watch the game again and just you know really like embrace what we actually did, what we were able to achieve. And you know, I know for sure a lot of people were doubting us in that time. Um, and yeah, um, all our doubt is our motivators. So, you know, it was good to prove them wrong. What was shit during halftime that you guys uh, were so motivated to come back in the second half and, and get those points? Yeah, it was probably, <laughs> we were up at that time. So it was probably like a lot of positive chat. And then, you know, you know as the game went on, obviously the first 20 minutes of that second half, that's when they scored all those tries. So, um, yeah, I wasn't under the post too much in that time. I was on the bench watching. So, um, mm. you know, yeah, I couldn't say what was actually uh, exactly said. So, uh -huh. so you you credit your parents for the upbringing that you went through and the training, especially your dad. How did he feel after the the last uh, championship? Yeah, obviously, um, you know, really really proud. Um, you know, the first time. I won the grand final. You know, my parents went there because mm. we moved, we moved up to um, Brisbane. Yep. So they were watching from TV, and you know, to have them there in the second grand final was, you know, a really special moment for me. Um, and then obviously to have have them again there, um, you know, just sort of just see their hard work paid off um, in their son. Um, yeah, it's obviously you know really special. Mm. Now you were in the Tour Samoa uh, World Cup squad last year. And uh, I believe there's about four of you guys that uh, are in this team this year. Uh, is there a difference in, within the squads? And how does it feel to come back into the Tour Samoa squad this year? Yeah, it's obviously really, you know, really exciting to come back into into camp. Um, you know, I never really take I never take these um, opportunities for granted. Um, to wear this, you know, this emblem on my chest, um, you know, brings a lot of pride in. Enjoyed to my family and and for me as well. Um, from young, I, I was always, my, you know, my special aspiration was to you know represent our small island and you know all of our beautiful people. Um, and yeah, um, coming into camp, obviously really exciting off, off the back of last year um, to see the wave that we sort of you know created, you know, in the World Cup last year and to come in, sort of just wanting to progress our success. In, um, I think the only difference is, is that our team's a lot more youthful than, than last year. There's a bit a few more older heads in, in the World Cup. 
um, team and you know this year we've got a lot of fr fresh new blood like we had nine debutants last week's game so um, you know hopefully they they've got the experience now so we'll, we'll try to um, use it use that experience going into the Kiwis game this week. Mm. Well, it's your you're leading the Panthers. Are you going to miss the boys? Yeah, hundred um, percent. You know, like I told you before, I moved over to New Zealand to Australia and you know Penrith. Um, that area has been home for me. Um, yeah, ever since I moved over, and you know a lot of those boys I grew up with, went to school with, and you know, um, you know we built you know a special kind of love with each other, and um, you know that love will always be there. So no matter you know where we go, um, we we'll always have that love and brotherhood together, and um, sort of the success that we've sort of built together, the memories that we built together was will always be there. So obviously a little bit sad leaving, but um, I needed I needed a new challenge and just know know how to challenge and moving from the west to the east. So. Mm -hmm. And what will you be bringing into the Roosters this year? Yeah, nothing, nothing too special. <laughs> um, obviously, um, they like what I do, and I just got to do, you know, the best things that I can do. Um, not, not trying to go outside of what, what, what my strengths are, and, and yeah, I don't know. It's just a bit of powerful aggression in that. So, yeah. What will the people be expecting from you and the boys this Saturday? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully a better result than last week. Um, obviously. You know, going get going up against Australia was always going to be a mean feat. Um, but you know, we've sort of had that um, experience now, especially for the boys who who were on debut. We had nine debutants that that game, and you know, not many of those boys um, you know had a lot of NRL experience as well. So um, you know, hopefully, just a better result than last last week. Awesome. Now, what's your message to our audience, to all the Samoans, not just in New Zealand but around the world? Uh, for you to be in the squad again and about the game this Saturday. Uh, would you like more people to come or to watch on TV? Yeah, I don't really mind, to be honest, just as long as they support. And, yeah, you know, I know um, all Samoans all across the world are supporting us. So um, a lot of love to you guys. And, yeah, no, you know, hopefully this week is a better result than last week. And, you know, there's, like I said, there's a lot of, a lot of love for you. Um, I'm proud to represent, you know, all of you. And hopefully we get a good result this week. Awesome. Thank you very much, James Winter. Yeah, let down my mobile tanto. To do stuff you are not now tanto. To do stuff you are spinter the new. Yeah, it be on a game turn all our bentas, late turn all the tanto. To us, I'm more. It was on a full layout of town on my illicit knee roosters. I want to end the CFR Sala Lower to Sound and Radio Samoa. Let's talk about Sanga Laka Piniki on the Pacific Championship. Let's talk Samoa and Mali New Zealand Kiwis. In the Aso Tore, they lost from Tasio Katopa. My little Afol and Min by Left Yafi. Fafa Fonga, my little Radio Samoa Malu on YouTube. Our two Sawa to the Talonga. I'll let Tor Samoa Mali Kiwi and New Zealand. Well, I will not yet to own on the Langa Langa Bile Pacific Finance Limited. Mali Click X. Go to Samoa!